Hey everyone, this is Matthew Doyle with the Autodesk Gameware team bringing you a short tutorial for Unreal Engine 3 and UDK, uh, specifically the March, uh, sorry, the May build of UDK on how to use Scaleform's set external texture to render a rear view mirror for a car. Uh, as some of you may know, set external texture was causing crashes in UDK. Uh, for a while now but as of the May release it is fully functional again so I'm gonna show you real quick how to use it and let's just go ahead and get started with that so you can probably see on my screen here I have a racing or car style HUD and uh, I've got obviously a rear view mirror here at the top and we're going to use a scene capture 2d actor to display what the car sees behind it uh, on that uh, rear view mirror. Now all you really need to do is first of all create a texture in Photoshop or whatever image editing program you're using save it as a PNG and then import that texture into Flash. Now the texture doesn't need to be anything special it will be replaced at runtime by uh, Unreal. So uh, here is my texture it's just a little blue rectangle with the word rear view mirror on it if I go into the library panel over here, you can see the texture is rearviewmirror.png. Now, the important thing we want to do, obviously, first of all, we'll drag that onto the desk, uh, to the stage, and uh, position it as we would like. I've already got it on the stage, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And we also want to right-click and choose Properties. And, of course, we'll do all the usual stuff that... Uh, is uh, required for textures allow smoothing lossless PNG but uh, specifically in action script 3 we're talking about scale form 4 here uh, obviously you want export for action script and export in frame 1 both checked but in scale form 4 action script 3 files identifier is grayed out so we won't be entering an identifier instead however in the class field we'll want to enter uh, the name of this object to be used in Unreal Script to uh, modify it and in this case I'm going to call it rear view mirror all lowercase no spaces now the base class will be filled in automatically for you by flash and it should read flash dot display dot bitmap data and then we just press OK to save that information okay and so the next thing you're going to do is to right click on the rear view mirror and convert to symbol and uh, you know give it a name for this symbol uh, I called mine RV mirror so you can see over here in my library panel I have RV mirror and so if I back out you can see we've, we've already got a movie clip here for uh, the rear view mirror if I go to properties you can see instance of RV mirror okay and uh, I've given it an instance name of RV mirror underscore MC now this isn't important to what we're doing it's just good practice to give an instance name to your movie clips but Unreal doesn't really care Scaleform doesn't really care about this movie clip all it really cares about is the texture inside of it and uh, and so we've already set that up properly now one other thing that you might want to do in this case I've got a rounded rearview mirror the corners are rounded here however when the texture is replaced the texture is actually a rectangle obviously no texture is rounded uh, it is a full you know has uh, 90 degree corners so I created a mask and if I turn that on you can see it so here's my mask this red image here it is a rounded uh, cornered rectangle that fits within the boundaries of this rearview mirror if I didn't use this mask the external texture that would be placed here would have little corners popping out here uh, of what the scene capture actor in Unreal shows so the mask keeps that from happening Uh, one thing to keep in mind here on this movie clip that uh, that uh, the texture is inside of is that if you do not set up some uh, color effect information on it, uh, the movie clip will render transparent in Unreal. So what you want to do is select this movie clip that contains the image and on the properties panel open the color effect rollout, set the style to advanced and then alpha should be at 100% and then XA plus uh, could be about 200 the max on that is 255 and that should give you a nice kind of faded but not transparent uh, image to go into the rearview mirror there 
Okay, so that just about does it for the flash file. However, in my case, I have a little action script that the flash file fires, tells Unreal to do something with an external interface, uh, specifically to go ahead and set the external texture uh, to this rearview mirror. This does not need to be done. Uh, what I'm about to show you, you could have done this in Unreal script, but uh, just go ahead and show you now by pressing F9, bringing up the actions panel. I have a simple external interface call here, firing off a function set render texture. And this will be my function in Unreal script that does all of the work to set the texture. However, again, this did not need to be done here. It could have been done in Unreal Script. I could have simply, uh, in my HUD's init function or start function, I could have fired off this function as well. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the Unreal Script now to see how we actually do the code. So here is SF Racing HUD. This is my, my HUD that extends GFX Movie Player. And the only really a few things we need to do here to make this work. So first of all, we have a variable which is a texture rendered target 2D. And our variable name is rear view RT. Okay? And this is the the actual variable this will hold the actual render texture. Okay. Now this brings us down to our function set render texture. Again, this is the function that is fired off in flash by the set uh, external interface call. And again, I could have instead simply fired off this function uh, right here in my init function in Unreal Script. So it would have worked either way. And all this function really does is it uses the ex uh, set external texture GFX movie player function. And uh, it uh, passes two arguments. The first argument in quotes, it must be in quotes because it's expecting a string, is the name in Flash that we gave the class name of our texture. So if you recall, it was rear view mirror, all lowercase, no spaces. The second argument that it passes is, of course, uh, rear view RT, which is our uh, texture render target 2D. And this is, we'll be referring again to the actual render texture, which is uh, something we'll set up here in uh, Unreal and the editor in just a second. And that's it. The last line that we need is in our default properties. As you know, default properties are variables that are set by default in Unreal, Unreal Script. And so we need to define what rearview RT is. And so rearview RT equals texture render target 2D because it is a texture render target 2D. And then semi quote, uh, single quote, UDKSF Racing, that is the uh, package name dot rearview RT, that is the actual name of the render texture I will be using. And close that with a single quote. Okay, and that's it for the Unreal script. Now we'll go into the editor, and you can see here already I have a car and a scene capture 2D camera actor right here behind the car. Before we go any further on that, let's open the content browser, and I will show you how my uh, texture render target is created. So let's see, let's see if we can find it. Okay, so I have my package here in the content browser UDKSF Racing, and I have imported the Swift SF Racing HUD and all of the image with images with it. And you can see here rear view RT. There is my render texture. That is simply created by right clicking and choosing new render texture render target 2D, and you know give it a name. I chose rear view RT that matches my Unreal script. Uh, and then, of course, the size, height, and width. I set mine to 512 by 128, 512 by 128, because it's a longer uh, rectangular shape, just like a rearview mirror would be. And that will create the texture render target 2D. Now, in order to use this, by this, in order for the scene capture actor to uh, spit out its images to this render target, we'll select it so that it is highlighted in yellow. Close the content browser. Select our scene capture 2D actor, press F4, and under scene capture, open capture, you'll see texture target. We'll click there, hit the green arrow, and that will fill it with the rear view RT render target. And that is it. Uh, there are some settings that you might want to change uh, near plane, far plane, that has to do with how far the camera sees uh, as far as clipping. And uh, I've set mine to 100 and 500,000. 
uh, enabled fog, and view mode I set mine to lit, scene capture view lit. Well, that's really it. Okay, and then of course I put the camera behind the car. This is for prototyping. Obviously you'd want to do this in script if you were doing something more permanent. This is just a prototype. Uh, the car, uh, the camera is directly behind the car and uh, facing opposite uh, 180 degrees of the car's direction. Then I open Kismet. Okay, so I have a on player spawned event and in, uh, when the player spawned I do an enter vehicle. That would be new action uh, pawn enter vehicle. And uh, when the vehicle has been entered on the out, I have an attached to actor. Okay, that would be uh, attached to actor under new action actor, attached to actor. All right, and uh, then I connect uh, the out to the end there, and I select my scene capture actor. Right click, new object variable using scene capture actor, and that will be connected to the attachment of the attached to actor because that's what we want to attach. I'm not actually attaching the camera to the vehicle in this case. Uh, my prototype simply attaches it to the player. So we would right click, new variable, player, player, right? And that would create the variable here. We'll set the target to that player variable on attached to actor as well as the target on enter vehicle. So the player will enter the vehicle. And uh, the vehicle factory that we want him to enter is done simply by selecting the vehicle here, right clicking, new object variable using UT vehicle factory alright and that's it that's it for our prototyping okay so once you've done all that you have saved your packages you have saved your level you've compiled your scripts uh, all you need to do now is hit play and so we can see right away that I am in the vehicle as my prototyping has done and the camera is pointing backwards in the rearview mirror we can see the actual external texture replacement uh, with the render texture from the scene capture 2d actor and if I move around now the camera follows the vehicle properly and we can see behind us if I were to uh, shoot backwards we see that working as well alright so that's all you had to do to set up a external texture to do something like a rearview mirror I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and uh, we'll try to get some new ones out to you as soon as we can.